The Towson football team, coaches and staff, gathered tonight to receive their CAA championship rings. But the real story is about the generous people who donated their money to make this night possible. The idea for the rings began at the last game of the season when the Tigers won the CAA championship. Tiger Club member David Nevins and Athletic Director Mike Waddell were behind it all. As they were leading up to that championship throughout the entire year, we started thinking about we got to do something to acknowledge their success. And Mike Waddell got together with David Nevins and they sat down and said we we're going to do the biggest event that they can think of that's special and symbolic of the success they had for Towson this year. We went to the first playoff game at, and by halftime we had raised among you know the many friends that the Tigers and the University have here, we had raised the 50000 so it's really the culmination of, of a great season, uh, all the players and the coaches, you know, hard work. And uh, a lot of us have been waiting many, many years for an event like this to celebrate such great success. Donors gathered at a VIP reception before the gala to socialize with coaches and administration and receive their rings from athletic director Mike Waddell and head coach Rob Ambrose. One of the donors, Denny Mather, said the rings stand for much more than the end of a season. Uh, it symbolized an incredible uh, uh, milestone for this university. I mean, to win the CAA is just unbelievable. That's not a small item. So it's a, it's a huge celebration. But hopefully what it means is a beginning. We talk about expect success being a tagline or the mantra for Towson Athletics. And what these student athletes did this past year, they expected success every single step of the way. That's one of the things that guys are going to need to think about real hard. This is, they, they did it. This is wonderful. This is un unbelievable. But now, now we've got the rings, put them on, celebrate. We've got to do it again. After the VIP reception, the donors got to watch the players, coaches, and staff walk across the stage and receive their rings. Head coach Rob Ambrose said the future of Towson football lies in the generous people who believe in the program. For a Division I program to actually succeed continuously, it takes an investment by people that are not just in the football building. And truth be told, the hard cold fact is that there's a monetary investment that's needed to keep a program afloat and moving forward. Everybody here has done a fabulous job of taking it from where it's been to where it is now. But our success in the future will pretty much rely on the investment of those that believe.